In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pie chart with seven options. So you can see here I've added business title in the center and then I've added with a different color combination, seven options along with the icons. And on the right side, you can add the title and the detailed text. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to the insert charts from the select the pie charts from the pie charts I'm going to choose this particular pie chart and click OK. So has it, it has inserted a pie chart here and then you can see here the data just drag it more and I'm going to add eight points here so let me just put one two three four five six seven and eight and here I'm going to put all as one 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 except seven I'm going to put it four and the rest of them I'm going to make it all one so you can see here I've added eight points here Okay, and I have made it all one except four for the point seven. Okay, once this is done, just close this one. So we end up getting a shape like this. And you can see here the title and the legend here. I'm going to select and delete that one. So let me just select this one and delete. Let me just select and this one and delete it. Hit the delete button. Okay. Now, depending on the requirement, you can choose any color. So in this example, I'm going to choose the color which I have already uh, displayed here so okay for this one the bigger one you remember that when you click it is selected all the options again you need to click one more time so that only this option got selected okay for that let me just go to the format shape fill using the eyedropper i'm going to drop this one first this is my first color then i'm going to choose the second one and i'm going to give this as a pink then this one so likewise you need to just use the eyedropper and start filling the color so this is my third option this is the fourth option the fifth one sixth one and seventh one so you can see here i've ended getting a shape like this and one more thing which you need to do is you have to go to the effects and the border and select no line here so that lone line will not be there so let me just select again and go here and make it no line all right then i'm going to add one more shape here in the center go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the control shift key so that you get a perfect oval shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white select both these options with the help of uh, this one i'm going to select this one and this one go to the shape format align center align middle okay and i'm going to add one more here press ctrl d to duplicate select the fill color and make it black and transparency i'm going to increase to 90 percent all right and then hold the ctrl shift key and increase the size a little bit and then again i'm going to select this one and this align center align middle and send this to back send back okay so i end up getting a shape which looks like this and if you like to add some shadow effect also you can add it so let me just select this one you can go to the effects under shadow here i'm going to choose the offset bottom right and increase the distance here you can see here increase the distance and increase the transparency level as well so I, I would like to have very less transparent look for the shadow so you can see here we end up getting a shape like this and if you feel that the shape is too much big here select both this one press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl shift key and reduce the size again make sure that it is properly aligned center align middle all right once this is done I don't need this one let me just move this aside outside of the slide area 
Now let me just go insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key. Shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. I'm going to make this a white color and press Ctrl D to duplicate this one. And you see here the one which I've added the light shadow one. So I'm going to select this one, go to the home clipboard or the format painter and click it here. Okay, and you can increase the size by holding the Control shift key and select both this one and only select the black one and send this to back and if you feel the size is too much you can just hold the Control shift key and reduce the size all right so maybe this is okay sorry all right press Control G to group it and I'm going to add some text here option number one zero one I'm going to use the font open sans extra bold or any font size you can use and the color i'm going to use as gray center align put it on top of this one select this press ctrl g to group it and bring it here so this is my option number one ctrl d this is my option number two i'm just going to place it here so you can see here so just duplicate by pressing ctrl d and start putting exactly on top of these different color combinations all right you can see here now i'm just going to change this to two three four five six and seven all right and once this is done what you can do next is you can add some uh, icons so go to insert icons and the seven random icons i'm going to choose from here maybe i'm going to choose this one i'll choose this okay this one this one maybe apple so already six and i'm going to add one more where i can say this one and click insert move this aside and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.5 both one and color i'm going to make this as white now select each one and then just put it on top of the options next to the options you can see here i'm just going to randomly but in your case press ctrl then in your case you need to make sure that the right icons selected all right yeah now this is done you can add one title in the center business title or business headline again i'm going to choose the font open sans extra bold center a line maybe in two lines i'm going to put it and the color i'm going to make it as gray and then i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a or you can just select using the mouse also press ctrl g to group it and then move this aside here because we have to add the details here so go to insert text box you can add title again open sans extra bold all right if you want you can make it right align also if you want and the color you can just choose the color what you have chosen for these options okay and then insert text box equals lorem within brackets one i will delete the colors so the extra text and reduce the size and then i'm going to make it as a gray color so let me just make it to 12 and i'm going to put it like this select both of this one press ctrl g to group it and hold the ctrl shift key add one by one you can see here two three four five six and seven now if you want to give eco spacing between this select all these options go to the shape format align distribute vertically okay then here you need to just select this one go to the home 
and choose the right color combination to it you can see here whichever the color combination right color combination you need to start choosing those color combinations all right so maybe i'm just going somewhere wrong i don't know but anyway we will uh, correct it if you yeah so this one this one some more lighter and more lighter done so you can see here i've added all these colors to the text align it properly and if you like to add some title you can add it here